you so very much. All right, here, um, I, I've been uh, thinking about this uh, situation uh, with uh, Governor Palin and her family now for about a week. It was a week ago tonight, and uh, maybe you know about it, maybe you don't know about it, but there was a, a joke that I told, and uh, I thought I was telling it about uh, the, the older uh, daughter uh, being at, at Yankee Stadium. And it was, uh, it was kind of a coarse joke. There's no getting around it. But I, I never thought it was anybody other than the, the older daughter. And before the show, I checked to make sure, in fact, that she is of uh, legal age 18. Yeah. But the, the joke really, in and of itself, can't, can't be defended. Uh, the next day, people are, are outraged. They're angry at me because they said, how could you make a lousy joke like that about the 14-year-old girl who was at the ball game? And I had honestly no idea that the 14-year-old girl, I had no idea that anybody was at the ball game except the governor, and I was told at the time that she was there with uh, Rudy uh, Giuliani. <laughs> and that's right. And I really should have made the joke about Rudy. <laughs> because... <clears throat> but I didn't, and now people are getting uh, angry, and, and they're saying, well, how can you uh, say uh, something like that about a 14-year-old girl, and, and uh, what, does that make you uh, feel good to, to make these uh, uh, horrible uh, jokes about a kid who's completely innocent, minding her own business, a and turns out she was at the ball game. I had no idea she was there. So she's now uh, at the ball game, and people think that I made the joke uh, ab about her. And, uh, but still, I'm, I'm wondering, well, what can I do to help people understand that I would never make a joke like this. I've never made jokes like this as long as we've been on the air. Thir 30 long years, and, and you can't really be doing jokes like that. And I understand, of course, why people are upset. I would be upset myself. And then I was watching the uh, uh, Jim Lehrer News Hour, and this uh, commentator, the uh, columnist uh, Mark Shields, is talking about how I had made this indefensible joke about the 14-year-old girl. And I thought, oh, boy. Uh, now I'm beginning to understand what the problem is here. It's the perception rather than the intent. It doesn't make any difference what my intent was. It's the perception. And as they say about jokes, that if you have to explain the joke, it's not a very good joke. And I'm certainly... <laughs> thank you. Well... My responsibility, I take full blame for that. I told a bad joke. I told a joke that was beyond uh, flawed, and my intent uh, is completely meaningless uh, compared to, to the perception. And, and since it was a joke I told, I feel that I need to do the right thing here and apologize for having told that joke. It's not your fault that it was misunderstood. It's my fault that it was misunderstood. Thank you. So I, I, I would like to apologize, uh, especially to the two daughters I involved, uh, Bristol and uh, Willow, and also to the governor and her family, and everybody else uh, who was outraged uh, by the joke. Uh, I'm sorry about it, and I'll try to do better in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>